in scenes reminiscent of early spring in New York, California is now a state in crisis. At this point, all our hospital systems can do is brace for these days and weeks to come. Shattering records for deaths and infections, more than 60 mobile morgues are now on standby. I'm actually scared. We're not going to have rooms. Across the state, arenas and tents becoming hospitals, hallways and lobbies filling with patients. We're working on skeleton crew, and my staff is getting exhausted. The governor activating the state's mass fatality program. In Los Angeles County, ambulances are waiting up to six hours to offload patients. People are going to die that don't need to die. With the number of ICU beds dwindling, nurses in Southern California are threatening to strike on Christmas Eve, a crisis across the country, fears of a surge on top of a surge. We're going into Christmas already stretched to our maximum ability. Even with lessons learned in the past nine months, there are some things that will never get easier. And it's very unnatural not to have loved ones close by. That has been the hardest part. But under the crush of bad news, a glimmer of hope in the form of a shot. Shipments of vaccine will have been delivered to every delivery site identified by public health jurisdictions for our first wave of shipments. Now some hospitals are discovering some vaccine vials have extra doses, which the FDA says could be used to vaccinate more frontline workers an immense sense of relief that uh, today, uh, this day is finally here. A nurse in Alaska was hospitalized after an allergic reaction to the Pfizer vaccine, the only such case in the U.S. She's now recovering at home. With hospitals already underwater, many fear what's to come in the new year. We could look back and say, boy, it was, I wish we were only at 200,000 cases a day again. Some of the frontline workers in this very room are set to get their vaccines later on today. And as early as tomorrow, the vice president and his wife are going to publicly get their vaccine to help build confidence. We're told the president-elect Joe Biden can get his as early as next week. Hoda. Meantime, Miguel, you mentioned that allergic reaction to the vaccine. What more do you know about that? Well, we know a second uh, first frontline worker also had allergic reaction. We're told that his symptoms were fairly minor. Both of those frontline workers wanted to emphasize to the public they believe the vaccine is safe and that Americans should get them. Yeah, and they're, they're doing okay this morning, right, Miguel? They are indeed. Okay, thank you.